Hey guys, Jim here from Budget RC, and today we're going to show you how to wire up this new LED light bar using a switch that allows us to still have 3S battery power go to the light, but able to turn it on and off from our receiver. So in order to do this, what we're going to do is utilize this Turnigy switch. Now this is a little bit different than the switch you saw me install on my son's circuit for his police light bar. In that case, it plugged directly into the receiver and that's also where it got its battery power from. So when you use, the, when you use that channel on the, on the remote, it would just toggle on and off. Now in this case, I need a lot more power than what I can get from the receiver, so I have to have this wired to the battery. So this switch here works a little bit different. This switch here gets your battery power, and then when you turn on your receiver channel, it closes this loop so it sends the power out to your load, which in this case is my LED light bar. So we're going to go ahead and wire this in. I've got one unused channel left on my remote. So we're going to wire this up to channel 3 or channel 4, whatever one is open. We're going to solder this directly to the ESC terminal where the battery wires come in. That's a nice easy way to get power and it doesn't require any additional wiring, cabling, or adapters. And then lastly, we're going to wire this up to the LED lights. So stick around. I'm going to start taking all 4,000 screws out of this so that we can get down to the electronics and then I'll start taking you through step by step. Your positive coming right out of your battery connector goes up to one of the positive connections on the switch. The other positive connection on the switch goes over to your LED light bar. The negative on the LED light bar is then tied right back to the connector on the battery on the negative side. Lastly, you've got your receiver connection that you go right to your unused port on the receiver. Here you can see where I've tied my power wire directly into the XJ60 connection where I get my battery power. Here is one of the positive terminals. You can just see that it's soldered together. And then after we solder it, we're going to go ahead and slide the heat shrink over so that we don't have any sort of shorts. Here we did the same with the negative. Now for the sake of the negative, I'm not going to repeat myself and show you the heat shrink, but it's basically the same thing. Lastly, you just go ahead and you plug that into your unused receiver port as long as that you have a corresponding button on your remote for it. And then lastly, you just tie up your wiring a little bit. So I ended up having to, to run my power directly up to the back of my XT60 connector. And I ran it down, reheat, shrunk everything. And then from there, the power side, the hot side, is wired directly into one leg of this Turnigy switch, just like I had mentioned. The output of that switch is then wired to the piece of wire that goes up to the lights. The ground side, of course, doesn't need to go through the switch, so that's wired directly from here through, through the black wire and directly tied to the wire that goes right up to the lights. But overall, it went pretty well. I'm plugged into channel 3 on my receiver because currently channel 4 is already occupied by the speed control. One neat thing about the Mamba X, if you guys didn't know it, is that you have an auxiliary on-off switch that you can utilize in the Mamba X to control something. In my case, I've got it so I can turn the drag brake on and off. On a multi-purpose vehicle like this Bomber, it's very, very handy. That's currently tied to channel 4, which is tied on the controller to the on-off button. So I had to use channel 3, which I've got set for the dial that's on my controller. But that's not a big deal. Um, you just turn the dial past a certain point and the level comes up high enough to turn on the switch and it works just as well as an on-off button. I'll show that to you guys once we get this all put back together. Okay guys, so we're all back together here and uh, we've got everything wired up. Hopefully, based on uh, what you've seen, you, you feel pretty confident to be able to tackle it yourself. Now I just wanted to go and show you how it works. So I've got everything turned on right now, and this is my RC3S Radio Link controller. And like I said, I've got the, uh, the, the button here, which is currently tied to, I think, the channel 4. And that works the drag brake on my Mamba X speed control. So what I had to do was tie it to the other channel, which is tied to this knob. But it works just as well. You just turn the knob, and boom, there's the light. That way I have the light when I want it, don't have it when I don't need it, not killing my battery and it's easily accessible whenever I, I need to go ahead and turn it on. I hope you guys take the opportunity to give this a try. I think it's, uh, I think it's a great little switch. 
it just adds a little bit more control and it just makes it more fun. If you guys found this video to be helpful, please go ahead and like it down below. Leave me a comment and make sure you subscribe so that you can get more videos like this. We're going to keep doing some stuff like this in the future. As a matter of fact, I've got a DIY light bar video coming up pretty soon. And we're going to see how it compares to this one that I bought. So stick around, guys, and thanks.